So thank you very much for attending my session about Kazefari. It's the first time that I presented in, in Northern Europe because we solve a problem that's not well known in the Anglosphere in Germany and in Scandinavia. I'm a German. I relocated to Lisbon. I'm living for two and a half years in Lisbon. I started with video games. So I was founding team of Bigpoint, a 650 million company back then. I was a founder of Credit Tech and FinTech. And right now, I'm into PropTech with, with Kazafari. What we do is we build the cleanest and most complete database in real estate in the world. A big aim. And we identified, especially markets, that are not common for us right now here. So we talk about Southern Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, Asia, Latin America, and on a later stage, maybe Germany, Scandinavia, and other markets. We didn't deep, do a deeper research in, into Africa. And we want to bring transparency exactly to this real estate industry um, and help solving the problem of an opaque and, and chaotic market. If you have a look at the real estate industry, it's by far the biggest industry in the world. We talk about a $280 trillion industry. That means it is the biggest asset class in the world, and it is 3.5-fold the global GDP. And what's scary in the end, that this industry still works analog. For me, with my experience, I couldn't understand it at all, touching into this field. This is an example of an agency operating in a location called Kashkaish. Uh, close to Lisbon. It's a prime location, and you see they even don't have a computer. They work pen and paper style, and this is almost the standard in this industry. So what differs markets? And you saw it's literally the big part of the world from um, Germany or from the Anglosphere. You don't have contractual exclusivity. It means one property can be listed by 10, 15, 20, 50 different agencies in the market. You don't have access to the, to the land registry. You don't have historical transactional data. You don't have an MLS system, what's very well known in the United States. Or you don't have any kind of reliable property information. And in the end, it leads to the fact that you don't have one dominating marketplace operating in these countries. A marketplace like Zoopla in the, in, in the United Kingdom, Zillow Trulia in, in the United States, or Immobilien Scout in Germany. This causes, of course, multiple problems when we think deeper about it. One is a fragmentation of the market. So even if you have a look into the major markets, we can see that more than 50% of the properties that are right now actively listed for sale don't appear in national classifieds or marketplaces. They're literally split on thousands of real estate agent websites all over the internet. Um, and it also means that it's within the classifieds. You have a lot of overlap of the same property. And this fragmentation of the market leads to an absolute chaos. Me coming from Germany, I came to buy property in Mallorca, and I was really shocked to see the state of art in, in the Spanish market. I saw that more than 80% of the properties for sale are listed with more than one agent. More than 20% of the properties have different prices in the market, right? And the prices can differ by more than 100%. So watch out if you buy a property in a second home location that you don't overpay. It's quite common. And you see on the right hand um, the market leader in Iberia, it's Idealista. And as an example, one property they have in the background the map, so you see all over these points, it's exactly the same property, listed in multiple locations for different prices, and it was listed by more than 50 different real estate brokers. Hmm? This leads to blindness. So literally, nobody really knows what's a stock, the inventory in the market. A customer comes, wants to buy, and the agent only knows what's in the own, own portfolio. There's no access to historical data. There's a lot of time wasted. Talking with real estate agents, we understood they spend daily two to three hours in doing research. Inaccuracy, so all the data that you find differs very much when it is about asking price, square meters, plot size, constructed area. And in the end, there's no confidence when a buying decision is done. So people buy based out of a bias or a gut feeling and say, oh, I think this is the right property. The solution, what we built, Casafari. It looks a little bit like 
um, a meta search in the travel industry, like Trivago or Skyscanner, so we identify one property is listed by multiple agencies with totally different data, different locations, uh, different square meter, different plot size, and so on. And then we track the entire history of this property. We thought in the beginning with our background from video games, fintech, experience intact, this will be an easy ride, but it wasn't. It was one of the most challenging tasks that I ever experienced in building a technology company because the data quality in real estate is in such a desolate condition. So we needed to build a system where we automatically track the entire property market from more than 10,000 different sources. We collect daily data for more than 1 million property listings. Uh, we have data operations. That means we have a live system. Once we detect data, we bring this property into the flow of the production data. And of course, we needed to touch the field of data science and machine learning. What it means exactly, we need to detect and clean anomalies. So some apartments have 250,000 square meters instead of a price of 250,000 euros. So data is mixed up. This is zero to much, is zero to little. So there are a lot of outliers, and exactly this is what we de detect. We need to um, extract features of a property, property type, property location, um, swimming pool, elevator, plot size, square meters, and so on. We need to classify and match um, similar images by image recognition. And in the end, and this is the most challenging part of everything, it's deduplicating um, of property listings in the market with totally different information. And as far as we know, we're the only company worldwide who is doing this. So all major marketplaces, classifieds, approach us and say, can you help us in clean up our own data? And you can have it even in different, in different categories, um, like e-commerce. Our vision, coming back to it, is to build the biggest and cleanest real estate database in the world. And based on these uh, database, we build applications. The first application we built was an application for brokers and buyer agents. So we are supporting the industry. We are not disrupting the industry. We bring the tools to digitalize the industry. The second application that we just launched is real estate market analytics to support investment funds, developers in doing purchasing decisions, not only out of a gut feeling, to do it based on numbers and hard facts and accelerate the process in the due diligence. And we have banks, we have insurance companies, and others to come. Business model that we currently have, it's a B2B business. Um, so we have a typical SaaS and enterprise sales approach. Um, big part of our revenues is currently coming from agencies of, and brokers. We, we predict it's about 5 to 8% of the market. With market analytics, we tap into developers and investment funds. And we also work right now on products, applications for banks to evaluate their own stock of properties. Um, company facts, last slide. Um, we tracked so far 500 million data points, 460% year-on-year growth. We have 98% customer retention that says we solve a problem. It's not a vitamin, it's a painkiller in the market. We have our headquarters in Lisbon, Madrid, Kharkiv, Budapest, 60 people in the team from more than 20 countries. And we plan a Series A round for 2020. And maybe to say, last of all, we invested as founders roughly around 1.5 million euros by ourselves into the company. And I wasn't sure if I should raise venture capital up to the point where I met the great team of Lakestar, and we didn't make it public yet, but we got Lakestar in the round investing in Casafari as one of the biggest funds in Europe, and Roundhill Capital, who is um, a real estate investment fund based in London. And a couple of business angels like Alexis Bond, who's a venture partner of Atomico in uh, Iberia, or the former CFO of the BMW Group, who's also into real estate development. In the bottom of the pages, you see the brands that are working already with Casafari. It's literally every major brand or brokerages from every major brand that we won within 12 months being on the market. And the market already talks like there was a time pre-Casafari and post-Casafari. Thank you very much for listening to me. If you have any questions, Niels at Casafari.com. Thank you.